We need to know, Aria, is that the veggie bun me? So that's a meatless bun me. Oh yeah, that's a veggie one. No That's way. the veggie. It's good, right? So what's it's it made so out of? Soy it's food? It's made of pig. <laughs> is it made of pork? No, no, no. It's Veggie. As you guys may know, the podcast format is blowing up right now, so we're going to sit down with two comedians who run the biggest Asian-focused comedy podcast in America, Mike and Fumi from Asian Not Asian. I guess you could say we're hitting up Asian hipster food spots with Asian hipsters. Actually, I don't even know if that's completely true, but whatever. Hi. Yo, this is crazy. So, I look in there, and we found a doppelganger of Mick. Mick recommended <laughs> that we film at this spot, and Mick's... Doppelganger is in there no, right Mick's now. That's me. There. You come here all the time? No. <laughs> I've never been to this place. I've never been to any of the places. I've been you, 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 you DMing each other. Yeah, about. we do go to some Google. I have very strong feelings about Vietnamese food. We are our bad, Mike our bad, our bad. And Fumi, Fumi and Mike from the Asian Not Asian podcast. Good. It is the hottest Holla. Asian podcast in New York City. Is it? That is wow, it? Wow, not uh, at all. But yeah, you guys are also both stand up comedians. We're also stand up comedians. Yeah, we're yeah, hoping so all this food is on you. So. Stand up is funny though because. <laughs> 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 that was the most beast thing ever. Let's go check it I'm out. I'm trying to get some Brooklyn points today. Okay, all right, okay. It's funny. First up, we're hitting up Five Spice in Brooklyn where we're getting bun meat tacos. Mike is Vietnamese and originally from Orange County, so apparently he's super picky and critical about his Vietnamese food. Let's get his hot takes. You guys are becoming more hipster. We're, we're in right now, I'll say that. We did a really good PR move with the pho and, and the Vietnamese coffee. I gotta give credit to the bun me. I think that is like, that's the new sandwich now in 2019. It is a sandwich. I feel, uh, I have mixed feelings. It's like seeing your child grow up and like date other people. And you're just like, you know, just be careful. All right, you guys, the food has arrived here at Five Spice Vietnamese Tacos and Bun Me. When, when you look at this food, immediately are you like, are you thinking like, oh no, they made a taco out of bun sale? Or are you like, oh. No, I, I'm, I'm, you know, Bang Sao, if you can make Bang Sao, you could be a god. Because Bang Sao is really difficult to like kind of control. So the fact that they made it into a taco is like, I gotta give you props just for the attempt. Because we want you to represent for your entire group, of course. <laughs> okay. I do like it. Mm, I do like it. It took a minute for you to process. Out of five? Like you were out, of five sort of like, out of five? It's sort of like, you ever like do a VR headset and you're like, you know, you feel like you're you're seeing that you're on a roller coaster but you're not on a roller coaster yeah. and you're not really sure what you're... Like it looks like my mind is like, this is a taco, but then inside my mouth it's Saigon. So like, it's like, what's happening? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, it's crazy that they were able to make a bun sale uh, shell, which is usually really crispy and crackles and yeah, shatters. Really crack but it's flexible like a tortilla. Yeah. And it has that chew too. So now I'm gonna try the broccoli with, with, with fish sauce. I got, I got one here, I got one here. One, thank you. Yo, fish sauce is a key ingredient in Vietnamese food. It's, fish sauce. it's really cheating because everything tastes good with fish sauce. Mm. Vietnamese people love fish. Bo luck lock with actually some uh, mango papaya salad on the side of the bo luck lock. This is a very popular dish. Um, These cubes are huge too. They're, These are definitely bigger than the average bowl lock. Yeah, they're very big. Mm. If you're real Vietnamese, you're, go, you're gonna love this meat, this gray one here. It's called Zalua, Zalua. Mm. Right? Is that the head cheese? It is, no, it is a it is a, it is a pork roll. It comes in a roll like the tube, yes. right? It is like a, it's like Vietnamese salami. We got the bread here, all right? We got the pickled vegetables. We got, this looks like straight up ham, which is a little <laughs> unusual, but that's fine. Uh, and then we got Zalua right here. And then we got all the, oh, f we got the mayonnaise. That's really important. Me roll out here. Mm. Put fish sauce on yours? Or no, you know, no need for that, right? Oh! Oh, f That's good! Huh? That's really good! Good job! I, I do like it. And then also, everybody knows this part right here is the best part. It's where all the juices and everything have gotten all at the bottom of the bread. This is the clip of the sandwich right here. <laughs> I have the veggie bun meat. This is uh, okay. this is like veggie meat. So this is not real meat, really? although it looks soy like pork. It doesn't look like pork. It's soy protein, guys. People, a lot of Vietnamese people are Buddhist and they don't eat meat. So the meat thing is kind of like, I don't want to say it's new, but it's not necessarily like you have to have meat in everything. One thing I will say about soy protein is sometimes it has more flavor than the actual meat because you're able to pack more flavor into it. I mean, if this is not real meat, then I will never have to kill a pig ever again because this is outstanding. This is really good. This tastes just like pork. So that's a meatless bun meat. 
Oh yeah, that's a veggie one. No That's way. not veggie. Good, right? So what's it made out of? Soy? It's made of pig. <laughs> Is it made of pork? No, no, no. It's veggie. He, he's Vietnamese and he could not you like be it? convinced. It would be a very Vietnamese move to sell veggie meat with just regular meat in it. It's a super Viet move. But this is outstanding. It's very good. I'm really impressed. We have to try the pho. Uh, and this is the special. This is spicy. It has short rib in it. It yeah. kind of looks like bumble bay almost the soup does. It does look like bumble bay. When it comes to Vietnamese food, I'm very right wing. Okay? I'm very like purity. Okay? About keeping the culture clean. But if you honor the culture, that's different. Because I feel this is like an extension of it. What I look for with, with pho is like, is the broth pretty clear? Is there not a lot of like little small oil bubbles on top? Because you don't want too much of that. You want the, the boils to be really clean. Okay, the broth is good. That's usually the first thing. I want to always be able to feel like I could just straight up drink this broth in a cup. Like just by itself. And that would be good. Pretty good. Wow! <laughs> wow! Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. I like it. It's got, it's got the um, that five spice taste. Let's eat the whole piece. Terrible. <laughs> yeah. I can barely eat it. Yes. <laughs> All right, we're wrapping it up here at Five Spice, a modern Vietnamese restaurant. Now we got to go to a modern Japanese restaurant. But guys, first, make sure to hit the like button on this video. Let's go. <laughs> All right, opinion on the following people. I'm just going to name a name. Okay, go ahead. Ali Wong. Dope. Cool. So dope. You know what people that I kind of do also don't talk about is that uh, she really brings a Bay Area kind of humor to the world. Like, peep check. like obviously her movie, um, Always be my maybe hat was set in the Bay Area. So there's a lot of like really cool Bay Area things she's really repping uh, that people don't know about. There's a lot of Bay Area jokes in it um, that you don't you wouldn't pick up on unless you came from that particular community. Aziz Ansari. Ooh. Oh, Aziz. Are you, dude, these shadow guys canceled. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what this is. This is like a gotcha moment. Yeah, the Shane Gillis and then Aziz after Oh that? my gosh, I know. Ooh. No yeah. comment. Man. No, <laughs> no comment. comment. Russell Peters. The reason I mentioned Aziz and Russell Peters next to each other is because they're so different. They're very different. Russell Peters is Manad, mm. and Aziz is Brooklyn. Russell Peters, he's got this kind of humor that's very broad and it's like a lot of people kind of- easily digestible. It's easily digestible. Yeah. You kind of understand what he's doing. Not to say he's doing hacky stuff, but he's just, it's, it's easier to get. Yeah. But right. Aziz, he's like making these little jokes. He's, he's the one he's going to make a Benmo joke. Do you agree um, that those are two literally opposing styles? Nah, man. I mean, I think it's like, if you like comedy, like I think you can like a lot of stuff. That's that's I feel like is the the mis like interpretation of comedy sometimes is people think like oh if you like her you don't you can't like this other person right it's like yeah. I think if you're a true comedy fan you want to laugh and you can find a lot of things funny and I think that's what I like about Russell and Aziz because they're like completely different and I guess you can both consider them under like the Indian or brown category but they're so different they live different lifestyles. Yeah. You know what I think fun. that is a very true artist opinion. We almost all have to have two oh. brains versus yeah. like. I guess like white people only have to have the creative brain and they don't need to worry about the activism, yes, social justice side. Absolutely, absolutely. That, that, that's the, that's, we sometimes struggle with that because like sometimes we're just trying to be funny and just, you know, we always say like we identify as being comedian before identifying as being Asian. And like that's one of the most liberating things about comedy. And then when people hit us with like the, oh, I don't like what you said about this or this comedian, like why aren't you speaking at this thing? Why don't you have Andrew Yang on your podcast? It's like, dude, I'm just trying to be funny. Like why can't I do that? You know? It always goes back to the, the title of the podcast, Asian Not Asian. Uh, find out on Spotify and iTunes <laughs> and it's it's always just there are things that you're you're both things at the same time like, it doesn't make sense but you're both Asian and not Asian at the same time that's like a very I feel American experience even now like I'm eating pho but like I don't speak Vietnamese right so it's like I'm both of those things at the same time and I think we're just trying to figure out where do we fit in America where like where does where do we where do people even want to hear us about us and I think that's uh that's what we're trying to do We are grabbing Japanese food because we didn't have time to do the Asian Not Asian podcast and go to Dambo. So Dambo, even though we walked there past all the brownstones in Brooklyn, we're just going to take the ramen into the podcast room. So there's like a couple flies in this building, right? Because there's food here. Yeah. And they were all over the fake food. Yeah. Yeah? That's weird. Hold on. Something. Were they, were they, maybe they were fake flies.
So after this, uh, we're on their channel. We're gonna be on their Asian Not Asian podcast. It's an honor to be here. But watch the episode. Fumi, why don't you Bro, explain you got to us? Nato? Yeah. Hilarious. And oh I knew I had to get it because I'm with a person who was born in Japan. That's hilarious. And this is super Japanese. I'm gonna start crying. How, how, do, you, <laughs> how do you explain what this is? To yeah, what is Nato that? is like, it's our version of like kimchi, I guess. It's like our fermented thing. Every country has like a fermented, so it's fermented soybeans. It's mad sticky. It smells a little bit. I admit, I didn't really like it that much when I was younger. Uh, I definitely started eating it probably like in middle school or high school. It's like it's kind of like beer. It's like an acquired taste. Mike, you ever had this? A lot of no, foreigners do not no, like it. You guys, you call us barbarians? My God. <laughs> <laughs> you like oh. it? <laughs> <laughs> this was a Japanese trap. Sort of. I think this. Dude, be this easy. is like you guys experiencing each other's culture. Yeah, like a we're bit. kind a of like bit. the bridge between. Yeah. yeah. So I, I knew he wouldn't get it though. <laughs> <laughs> This is called ikura. It's like uh, salmon roe. Uh, uh, yeah, you got the you got the the benefit out of this relationship. Guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this I f with. This is good. Yeah, you know like... why? Vietnamese people love fish, dog. Yeah. You know what this fish, needs man. though? It needs a little fish sauce. That's what. You, it know, what, you know what it is? <laughs> <laughs> I heard ramen in Japan is not treated with the same like reverence as oh, sushi. So that you have oh, more yeah, liberties yeah. with it. It's like it's like comparing McDonald's to like steak, Peter Luger's. Like sushi is like it's expensive, right? It's a, it's a delicacy. Ramen is like it's like peasant food, so it's 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 like the New York version of a, a dollar. But is it, is it funny how much it's been dressed up in America? Yeah, I mean, is it funny? I mean, I think it's like exotic to people here, so yeah. they'll charge fifteen bucks for a bowl of noodles. Well, like five bucks in Japan. You, you know why it is though? Because ramen is actually from China and sushi is from Japan. Yes, we used to yeah. call ramen chuka soba. Chuka is like Chinese food. And just real quickly talk about yeah. this is still in my mouth. You can feel it. <laughs> it's in my mouth. Yeah, okay, still. Can I, this, this is real. When I eat this at home, I have to go to the sink and then rub my mouth with water because it gets. Just like you, you judge the, the pho, you gotta judge oh, yeah. the ramen. Well, let's just press You've this had this before. This is you know, the it's good. instant version of like a good ramen because we got it at here, which is at Kroobi, right? Which is like the instant food version of Ipudo. Oh, really? Uh, but but so it's, this is Tonkotsu Ramen. Tonkotsu ramen is from the western region of Japan, like the Kansai area, or like Kanto, no, Kansai area. And it's pork broth, which is not very popular where I'm from in like Chiba. Mm -hmm. uh, we just eat like, you know, miso based, uh, or miso or soy based ramen. So yeah. it's not very popular because it's very heavy, and some people say it's a little stinky. Uh, I mean, it's pretty good considering it's like the fast food version of it, you know, the, the noodles get a little soggy. But, but, but uh, Ipro makes their own noodles, so shout out to those guys. I will say in Japan, they always say ramen is supposed to be made quickly and eaten quickly, so it is kind of like a fast food. For oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Give, give yeah. me out of five. I need, I need uh, hard ratings, bro. Four, four. Pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, I think uh, everything at Canal Street Market's good. I think this is a solid four. I think this is a solid four. This is a negative five. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that is the lowest rating ever negative. on the Funko's food. That's hilarious. I, I, can't, I can't blame you, man. The Sorry. rice was all right. Nacho yeah. is, is interesting. Thank you so much for watching that episode of Funko's Food with Asian Not Asian. Hey. All right, guys, in the comments below, let us know if there's anybody else you guys want us to meet up with that is involved in the community, because we love seeing the Asian and, community and, and, in New oh, York. Yeah. Definitely check out our link below to the podcast episode we did on Asian Not Asian. We say some crazy stuff. All right, guys. Okay. Thank you again. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace. Hey, Vietnamese comedian. Hey. We had fast casual Japanese food with, I don't know if you're uh, fast. He's fast casual. Look at his Terrace House sweatshirt. Fast. So casual. Represent. Check him out. Yo, you Netflix. are Terrace House. That's cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. Trying to get on Terrace House. So make sure you guys check out the video we're about to do right now. Uh, but yo, that was Mike such a Fumi. Asian, not Asian. 